Hi, my name is Aiden. I've been playing football or this flag football for six years. Um, been to this championship five times, gotten fifth every time. But I'm just blessed to be here, be here with my friends. I'm thankful for my family to spend money to get out here. And uh, yeah, I'm just happy to be here. Hi, my name is Colton Pollack. This is my first year playing flag football. I have played tackle football for three years. Um, it's pretty fun to get out here, just hang out with some friends. Thank my parents for bringing me out here. I'm Jake Toshkoff, and I just started playing flag football in the fifth grade about four years ago. This is my fourth year at the national tournament, and I'm just super thankful to be a part of the team and have lots of friends that I can spend time with. Hi, my name is Vince Hillcalter. I've been playing football for a couple years now. It's my first year with the team, and uh, I'm having a blast up here at the national level. It's a lot more technical than I thought, but I just love being here with my friends. I'm Hunter Hansen. Uh, this is my first year playing flag football. I play varsity football at Resurrection Christian School and thank you to my parents for taking me here and spending the time. Uh, my name is Marcus Mosier. Something interesting about myself, I've been, this is my fifth year at this tournament, uh, so I kind of know what's uh, going to happen like, and just uh, being here with my friends, I like that too, it's just fun to get out here and play. Hi, I'm Mason Griffin, I'm a freshman at Foster Ridge High School. I'm 14 year old, I play football and baseball and I'm just really grateful to be down here and being able to play here. Hi, my name is Harley Schmidt. Um, I go to Fossil. I've been doing flag football for about six years. These tournaments, they're a lot of fun. A lot of com competition, very difficult to compete against, but it's a whole lot of fun. where we started in second grade. As we moved on in the world, we started having success and winning a lot. Ultimately, we started to join forces and gather people and get on the same team. So I met this family of the Moser family, Robert Moser, the father, Paula Moser, the mother. We met at track. My son did really well in elementary track, as did their son, Marcus Moser. We competed against each other we decided we wanted the boys to be together. And from there, things grew at a very rapid pace. Like, the success was coming so fast, surrounded by many other athletes. Aiden Rasu, the Rasu family, they came on board at an early time. Aiden went through a lot with me. Aiden and the uh, Rasus went through some growing pains. Ultimately, success, and Aiden's an elite athlete as well. The Toshkos, the Toshkos and the Griffins, got on board in sixth grade. And at that point, our success was happening at a local level and a state level at a rapid pace. We didn't lose, we didn't get scored on. I had five great athletes that were achieving great things. Lesser teams that didn't put in as much effort and dedication and didn't have the will to win were getting crushed by the Colorado Crushers. My five families and athletes have enjoyed a ton of success. I was very fortunate this year to bring three more athletes from three more great families that completed the success of this eight young men that are all freshmen in high school. And they all play tackle football. They're great athletes, great athletes. As we evolved and got here to Las Vegas, we left behind a foot of snow in Colorado, which ultimately when we play this tournament in the winter time, we suffer as a Northern team. We only got time to put in maybe 10 hours of practice to come down here and play against Southern teams that play year round. My athletes are so good that it didn't hinder us whatsoever. We landed on a Wednesday, registered on Thursday, put in an hour practice, tried to be well groomed.
ultimately on Friday in pool play, team from Pennsylvania doesn't show. We win by four for it. Don't get to get rid of our jitters. All right, game one, 9 a.m. 12 teams in the nation show up, supposedly. Only 11 showed up. We were ready to rock at nine. They have strict rules here, nine o'clock. No show by the opponents out of Pennsylvania. Colorado Crushers win 28-0 by forfeit to start us off in pool play today. That's, how, that's a wrap on that for the first game. Look forward to playing these next two teams this afternoon. We're up against the elite Chandler Raiders, 12 U national champs two years ago. Great game, and probably how we go down the record book that we beat them in overtime in pool play. I believe the score is 21 to 20. Our second game, we're up against Flight Zone Panthers out of Michigan, the original team that started this whole tournament. We had success with them. I believe the score is like 13 to 7.
So we go into pool play, 3-0 and as the number one seed in the nation. We started out against Tucson, Tucson Turf, Tucson, Arizona. Another powerhouse team. We struggle, we're not moving the ball well. They're moving the ball. I'm not adapting on defense like I should. Long story short, we lose. They beat us 13 to six, I believe. Maybe 14 to six. What was great about the game was my athletes have become so good and so smart that they're helping me to stop them. My athletes were right. I learned from it. At that point when you've developed athletes to be so good that they're helping you, I've done my job. And they will, they will cherish that and they will have success throughout their lives. It was a great day with a loss. For the class of 2025 that has been down this road with me, I want them to know that as they go through high school and on to college or whatever path they choose in life, I want them to remember when they were fifth, sixth, seventh graders Robert Moser and myself, Royal Schmidt, some of the basic rules of life that they learned from us. Marcus Moser, wide receiver and safety. Walter Pollack, uh, wide receiver and DB. Harley Schmidt, receiver and DB. Mason Griffin, quarterback. Aiden Rousseau, receiver. Didn't come through. God bless all of the Colorado Crusher families.